Dear friends, I cannot be in beautiful Venice with you today in person, but I couldn't miss this chance to send a message of support to the European Cultural Heritage Agora. The question of today's Agora is extremely pertinent, especially in view of the upcoming European elections. It was of dreams and hopes that our horizon was made when we set sail towards a united Europe after catastrophe. It was through conversations, through discussions, that people like Altiero Spinelli, Konrad Adenauer, Robert Schumann and Jean Monnet started this project. Today, these are no longer utopias. They are a reality we built together. And we continue to build solid progress. We face our challenges together, like the pandemic or climate change, and allow our young people to discover this space together too, for example, through the Erasmus Plus program. In fact, so many of our policy initiatives bear upon this idea of cultural citizenship. From the European education area, empowering our member states to work together as they pass on European values to their learners, to the Jean Monnet actions, which support a lively community dedicated to European studies around the world. Discover EU empowers 18-year-olds to travel across the continent, discovering beautiful heritage and lived experience that would previously be inaccessible behind borders and budget constraints. We are empowering young people precisely to set sail and imagine new utopias, not set by national borders, but by shared values. Creative Europe also empowers our cultural operators and our creative sectors to work together, to learn from each other, digitalizing culture and protecting our heritage from natural and man-made disasters. We even launched, just last year, a new mobility scheme for artists, Culture Moves Europe, because we want this cross-pollination to benefit our union. And the same can be seen in initiatives like the new European Bauhaus, bringing people together to reimagine the space in which their communities come together. Next year, we will be going to the polls for the European elections. We need this sense of cultural citizenship to orientate us, to inspire us. And events like this European Heritage Agora are essential so that our union sails precisely for a utopia we choose to create together. Your efforts and the efforts of all those who contribute to the rich tapestry of European culture and creativity are the wind in our sails as we move forward. Thank you.